Welcome to Lesson 10 in the FL Studio tutorial series. This is the first in a set of lessons dealing with adding and managing content in FL Studio. In this lesson, we're going to focus on how to add and manage content in the browser. Let's first be sure we can view the browser. In previous lessons, we've already seen the preloaded content folders that show up in the browser. If we wanted, we could add our own folders of samples, MIDI files, sound fonts, or other content to the browser. To do so, go to Options, File Settings. In the pop-up window that appears, you see the top half is labeled Browser Extra Search Folders. Here we can add folders of content by clicking on any folder icon that has an empty row beside it. Another pop-up will ask you to navigate to and select the folder you wish to add. An added folder will show up in the browser as well as any subfolders it may contain. Once you've armed your browser with your personal content, you can now use the browser's drop-down menu for extra control and configuration of the browser. The first tools of value under the menu are the two Find features. These allow you to search the browser for content. Under View, we can change the size of the folder names and icons in the browser. Further exploration of the menu shows us many other handy options for altering our content details or for sorting. Two final features to note are the refresh button, which may need to be clicked if your content has changed so that it shows up in the browser, as well as the snapshot feature. The snapshot feature allows you to keep different views of the browser with different folders open, stored as snapshots, that are easily changeable using the snapshot menu. Now you should have a means for adding content to your browser and for configuring the browser to your likings. Thus ends our lesson on browser management and adding content.